so hey what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be talking about the custom ROM flashing procedure or the method on the Redmi Note 7 Pro has been changed one more time well yes it has been changed like a couple of times earlier and like today I am gonna show you one more method that is gonna happen or that is gonna implement from now on with all the custom ROMs you're gonna flash on the Redmi Note 7 Pro so yes as you can guess of course the TWRP like is not working anymore with the upcoming ROMs or it is not gonna be working with the upcoming ROMs and right now I'm on the Lineage OS unofficial build which has been flashed with the like different TWRP well first of all what you need to do with like flashing custom ROMs on the Redmi Note 7 Pro right now I'm guessing that like you are on the MIUI like the stock MIUI so what do you need to do now well i'm hoping that you have unlocked bootloader already so now you are going to install or you are willing to install the twrp recovery so which twrp you may ask you should install well this is the unofficial twrp earlier we are using like we were using the official twrp which is the 330 let me just check it yes which was the version 330-0 or dash 0 whatever you may call that was the official TWRP but right now if you're coming from MIUI and if you're flashing that TWRP on the Redmi Note 7 Pro it is gonna stuck at the booting animation of the TWRP so that is pretty much like it and I was facing this error too so that was pretty annoying but right now we do have a fix so what you need to do when you are coming from MIUI like I'm gonna talk about the MIUI stuff first but if you are willing to flash from any custom ROM or if you have already installed the official TWRP, I'll talk about that method too. About the like coming from MIUI to custom ROMs, first of all, I'm guessing that you have MIUI unlocked bootloader, like stock MIUI unlocked bootloader. Now you need to flash a different zip. Everything will be linked in the description box below, so do not worry. First thing which you need to flash is the DTBO image. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is connect the phone with the type C cable with your PC and hold shift and right click on your like computer and you will see the open command window here or open PowerShell window here. So just tap on it or just click it and then when like how you flash the official TWRP like before flashing the TWRP flash this DTBO image file. So how do you flash this like image file here is the command. So just write the command as fastboot flash dtbo space dtbo.img and hit enter it is gonna flash. Now you're gonna flash the latest TWRP which is the unofficial one. The version is 331-0 of the of this TWRP and like flash it normally now just type fastboot flash recovery twrp.img and it is gonna flash like it is gonna be flashing super fine on your device. So once you have flashed the like TWRP and the DTBO image, you're good to go to like flash any custom ROM. Just make sure you wipe cache Dalvik system data and make sure to flash the latest vendor image. Well, if you're already on the latest MIUI 10 to 10, you do not need to like flash or wipe the vendor image, but, but just in case you're clean flashing, that is a recommended thing. That is how you can flash any kind of custom ROM right now. So that was the method while coming from official MIUI to any kind of custom ROM right now on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And right now I'm gonna talk about what you need to do to like install custom ROMs right now. If you are already on a custom ROM and if you have already installed the official TWRP or any older TWRP. So what's the problem using the older TWRPs or the official TWRP right now you may ask. Well, you can't simply flash the ROMs which will be coming in the future or your TWRP won't be working at all while like flashing these new ROMs. The older TWRP won't be working. So right now, of course, download the TWRP image file on your device. If you have already installed the TWRP recovery, what files do you need? Well, first of all, download this Lineage OS as of right now it is available. I'll link it below again. Download this Lineage OS unofficial latest build and then download the latest unofficial TWRP. First of all, boot into your old TWRP, whichever you have. Now just go to wipe, like advanced wipe and then wipe cache, system, data and Dalvik and the other things like vendor. So just wipe them. Once you have done that, just go back, go to install. Now select the ROM file and flash it. Do not select the reboot system automatically option right now. So just flash the ROM file first. Now you need to flash the latest TWRP recovery. Now just go to install again, tap on install image, then just like install the new unofficial TWRP recovery. 
So once you have done that, reboot to recovery once again. And good news, the low bright test problem on the TWRP is fixed now with the new unofficial TWRP. And over here, you're gonna see a red kind of error. Do not worry again, this is normal. And now you can flash open G apps or whatever like micro G apps if you want. You can just flash it directly. You do not need to flash the mount system zip file to like mount the system. The open G apps will be flashing normally. You do not need the mount G apps zip anymore while flashing ROMs or like while flashing G apps on these ROMs with this TWRP recovery. And all the custom ROMs which will be coming in the future will be like supporting this TWRP, this unofficial TWRP as of right now. And over here, you like have to flash the fcrypt disabler zip of course once you have flashed the gapps now you can just simply reboot to system and your system will boot up fine and already over here as you can see i am on the like latest lineage os over here and it is working super fine right now i may do a full review of this thing like later on but right now i would say that this is working super fine for me well one more thing that i want to talk about is the xiaomi.eu roms well, do not flash that. Yes, I did do a video. You can find it on the cards right here. But I would still recommend you not flashing that ROM. Yes, that ROM was working fine. But if you're coming from that ROM and flashing any other custom ROMs, it is gonna show you error 7. I think it may change your like device name blobs or something. So it just straight up shows error 7, whatever ROMs you flash. And then you have to go all the way back to like, you have to flash the fast boot stock ROM and then you have to install TWRP and all those stuff. So that is why I won't recommend flashing the Xiaomi.eu ROM. Yes, I did update the description and the comment section over there on that video. So do check it out. So that is pretty much it guys. Hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Dick signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.